Good morning. Thank you for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Nicole Brady. And I'm Brian Sanders. Here are your top stories for Friday. A man accused of attacking two men for speaking Spanish at an Aurora gas station is now in custody. Rini Kassam now faces several charges. The victims told investigators he doused one of them with gas and tried to set him on fire before throwing a rock through their car window and stealing their keys. Kassam is also accused of pulling a knife on a man and telling him to speak English one day after the gas station attack. His next court date is in September. The Denver Auditor has released a scathing review of the city's new Office of Social Equity and Innovation. Auditor Tim O'Brien said the office is missing uh, some key features that would make it run more smoothly, including a strategic plan, clear roles and responsibilities for employees, and consistent communication. Chief Equity Officer Dr. Aisha Russo said the report doesn't paint the full picture, but does agree there are improvements the department can make. And the Broncos will be back at Empower Field Saturday for their final preseason game against the Minnesota Vikings. Receiver K.J. Hamler will see some game action in his first game since injuring his knee and hip last season. Brett Rippon will start at quarterback. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. Saturday. Here's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with your Denver 7 forecast. And it was nice to get a little rain yesterday afternoon. Today we're going to be in for another round of afternoon storms. Pretty mild though this morning. You're going to find some cloud cover stepping out the door mid to upper 60s. In fact, early on we will be in the upper 70s by about 11 o'clock low to mid 80s for highs this afternoon. Uh, Denver right around 85 60s, a few more 60s than 70s in the mountains this afternoon. And we'll see most of our shower activity in the high country today. But those storms are going to roll east again and we'll likely see here by early afternoon more scattered rain could even get a few cells that would produce some heavier pockets of rain today. Heading into the weekend, things are going to warm up and dry out a bit with fewer storms Saturday and Sunday.